Hello, good evening. Hello, Gabby. Hello. Okay, how are you today? I'm tired. Okay, why? Why tired? <laughs> You went to work? Mucho trabajo. Yeah, I went to work. Where do you work? Uh, Gangma Laboratory. Okay, good. And you work in your house, so home office, or in the office? In the office. Okay. So you have to, you have to travel. Yes. Yes, that's very, very tiring. Okay, good. Hello, Jorge. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Uh, yeah, it was great. Great. Because I work uh, at home. Ah, okay, good. So you didn't yeah. have to travel? Yep, but Tomorrow, I'm going to work in an office. Okay, that's terrible. <laughs> huh? That's terrible. So you have to get up early, you have to travel, then... Uh, all right. Yep. Uh, such is life, right? Such is life. Okay, good. Then let's see the... Where we stopped yesterday. Okay. So this says this course is ending in two weeks. So it's gonna end. Okay. El próximo miércoles. To earn a certificate, you must complete all requirements before this date. Ok, entonces, miren, el 24, nos está mandando esta noche, que es miércoles. Tendrían que haber terminado el, ya el examen. Entonces, la, la clase del 25. Aquí fue 24, pero nosotros vamos a tener clases hasta el 25. Ok, uh, ya podemos hacer un repaso de todo, siempre va a haber clases. Pero tenemos que terminar este examen antes, ok. Para que no... No tenga problema. Y de esa manera les conviene a ustedes en el sentido de que eh, van a comenzar el curso el siguiente lunes. No tendrían que estar esperando mucho tiempo como anteriormente, esperar una o dos semanas. Entonces, eso es lo que creo que van buscando, que se agilice el inicio del siguiente nivel. Ok. Now, let's see. Okay, here we have. This is what we studied last night, remember the past tense with uh, did, didn't, affirmative, negative sentence, okay, using the irregular verbs, right? Then after that, we have the knowledge check, did, at, when, did you go? No, I didn't. I stayed and got. Remember that we use the past tense of the verb in the affirmative sentence. And we also use it in the, in the negative sentence. We use a, the present form, right? Like in the, like in this one. Or in the question. Okay, I played. Did you speak? No, I didn't, but I read and I watched. Then after that, we were talking about the questions and the yes, no questions, short answers. Okay, did you have a good summer? 
Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Then we completed with, did you watch television last night? Okay, so this is the knowledge check. Okay, what is the question here? Did you watch television last night? And in this one? Did, did, uh -huh. did, did you have dinner last night? Yes, did you have dinner last night? In this one? Did you go to the movies? Did you, did you go to work yesterday? Did you go to work yesterday? Here. And the last one? Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Yes. Okay. And there you have. Now, remember that is important, right? It is important to complete the question with a question mark. A veces, con una palabrita que inviertan o que no pongan el signo, se la va a dar mala cuando lo están haciendo, right? So be careful with that. Then, say by the end of the class, vocabulary for discuss, discussing summary activities. Summer activities. And a picnic. But um, wait, I want to. Okay, so this is the review. Now, which is the past tense of the bird to be? Okay, here we go. Was and where? Was, okay. Remember? Was. For example, uh -huh, you say, I am in my house. Okay, present. In the morning, uh -huh. in, in the morning, I was in my office. Okay, past. In the past. Okay, for example, in this moment, Gabby, where are you in this moment? In, in where, my house. In my house, okay. Where are you? Where are in you? My... And in the past, where were you in the morning? Where were you in the morning? Where were you in the morning? In the office. In the office, right? So the answer is different. Now, where are you? In my house. Where were you in the morning? In my office. Okay. So you can see this, the present and the past, right? How this thing works. And a, let's see, one. Where, where was Gabriela in the morning? Okay, here I use where was because Gabriela is she, right? Okay, yeah. Where was Gabriela in the morning? You say she. She was. Uh huh. She was? She was in your house. In? <clears throat> in your home. No. She was in her home. In her? Her home. No. In the morning? No. Eh, on. In on. No. No, ¿cómo se? ¿Qué dijo ella? Eh. <laughs> no, la oración está correcta, lo están diciendo, pero no estaba ahí. She was in her. Ah, okay. Ella Work. Dijo, uh -huh, she, I was in my office. 
Mm -hmm. And you say she was in her office. Okay. okay. Usando lo que ella dijo, right? No, like if you say she was in her house. Por ejemplo, pero hay que tener cuidado cuando se da información. Porque usted dice, she was in your, y si me dice a mí, she was in your home, she was in your house, está diciendo que ella estaba en mi casa. Mm, okay. 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 Por eso, she was in her house. Ella estaba en su casa de ella. Okay, so then we have to say him, uh, his, her, your, my. Okay, good. Then she says she was in her office. Good. Then this is also for you to, to have a, an idea, right, in this moment about the past tense. Okay, she was in her office. Okay. Vamos a jugar un juego, the name is make me. Okay. Let me see, let me see. Okay. ¿Qué es el nombre del juego? What's the name? Make me say yes, I did. As no. me hacer decir sí. Ah, ok. Ok. Entonces, ¿qué tienen que hacer? De acuerdo a esa lógica. Mm, as... Hacerme preguntas. Hacer preguntas de sobre algo que sí hizo. Ajá, hacer preguntas usando did, ¿va? Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you, usando la escritura. Pero obligando, yo puedo decir a todas no, pero ahí tienen que lograr que yo diga yes, I did. ¿Ok? Ahí lo dejo a su creatividad. <risa> <risa> ¿Ok? ¿Cómo pueden lograr que yo diga yes, I did? ¿All right? Uh, preguntas como, did you go to school this morning? Eh, yo puedo, puedo hacer que sí fui, pero puedo decir, no, I didn't. Ok, pero algo que me que sea que decir, uff, yeah, yes, I did. Ok, vamos a ver qué tan rápido logran que diga, yes, I did. Yo, yo creo que es la primera. Did you clean the house now? No, no I didn't. Did you drink coffee in the morning? No, I didn't. Did Did you have breakfast? No, I didn't. Huh? You showered today? Did you take a shower today? No, I didn't. It was too cold in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's imagining it. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Did you have a lunch? You have lunch? Uh, no, I didn't. It was, I'm a diet. I'm on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> Did you brush your teeth in the morning? <laughs> eh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Did you put on your shoes? Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> a, a esa pregunta le faltó algo, pero. Okay. Did you use the bathroom? Did you? Did, did you use the bathroom? No, I didn't. It was an emergency. Did you comb your hair? <laughs> did you comb your hair? Uh, no, I didn't. It's, <laughs> it's natural. Did you love your family? Or oh, yeah. did you teach this this morning? No, I didn't teach this morning. Oh. Did you stay at this? No, did you work at home today? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm working right now. Okay. <laughs> to say yes, I did. No, when you say, for example, did you did you put your shoes 
mm -hmm. uh, to go to work today. In that case, I have to say yes, I do. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, that's why uh, to go to work today. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to do the opposite. Make me say, no, I didn't. Okay, no, I didn't. Did you fun in class? Did you? Did you fun in class? Did you have fun? Fun. Did you have fun in sí. class? No, I didn't. I had a headache. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, no, yes, did, yes, I did. Uh, no. no, okay, no, I'm gonna change that. Yes, I did. Yes, I had fun. I always have fun in class. Uh huh. Mm. Continue. Did you watch TV? Did you watch TV? Um, yes, I did. I watched the news. Did you go to a supermarket? Today? Yes. Yes, I did. did you I went to buy some uh -huh. tamalitos. Today? Uh, yes, it is. What did you say? Did you use a mask today? No, sir. A mask, huh? The mask. Did you use a mask? The mask today? today? Uh, yes, I did. Well, I have to, if I went to the supermarket, I have to use it. Yes, I did. Did you can tell a joke? Mm, that would be, can you tell? Tell. Uh -huh, can you tell a joke? Uh, yes, I can. I can tell a joke. <laughs> did you read a newspaper today? Herman. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, I don't read the newspaper. You know, I always read the news. I don't, sometimes I don't have much time. So I, I usually read uh, the news in the telephone. I say, did you clean your glasses today? Oh, no, I didn't. I have to, I have to clean them today. <laughs> That's another one, yes. What else? Did you eat breakfast this morning? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, always. <laughs> what else? Did you cook your dinner? No. Today? No, no, I didn't. Somebody else did it. Did you eat pupusas today? Oh my God, no, I didn't. But I want some pupusas. Maybe tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Okay, well, now. Now that you are reminding me, ya que me recuerdo, tomorrow, pupusas for breakfast. Okay. Good. Okay. Did Please. you exercise today? Yes, I did. 30, uh, 20 minutes, but, but I did. Okay. Uh, if you see, for example, you are practicing questions with did you, did you, okay? So that's the idea of this uh, game, of this exercise, you know, to, to practice, right? Uh, some, uh, let's say, uh, structures and different verbs, okay? For example, did you sleep well last night? Did you sleep well last night? Anyone can answer. Cualquiera puede responder. Did you sleep well last night? No, very nice. You sleep like a baby. In my case, me yo dormí tan bien que me sentí que dice que tembló dos veces. Okay, but no lo sentí. Right, I was so too, nice. Too far. Um, too, too morning. Uh, two times. Two mm -hmm. times in the morning, right? What nice. what time? Morning. What time? Um, um, what time was it? Uh, 2.43 a.m. and okay. 2.47 a.m. 
Okay, so they were very close, right, in time. Yeah. Okay, 43 and 47. Eh, yo creo que sentí quizás los últimos segundos del, del 47. So, so just tell a little bit, but not too much. I was pretty, you no, know, sleeping very nice. Okay, so then did you sleep well last night? Uh, did you, uh, for example, did you watch the news on TV last night? Did you watch the news on TV? Because sometimes you can watch the news in yourself. You say, yes, I did or no, I didn't. Uh, did you send uh, emails today? Para practicar vocabulario del día a día. Did you send uh, emails today? Yes, Jessica? You have a hand up. Yes, I did. Yes, I did, right? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Mm. Uh -huh. Only yes, I did. Only yes, I did. Eh, en la respuesta corta, ustedes dicen, yes, I did. Lo voy a escribir aquí. Ok, yes. I did. Esta es la respuesta corta. Did you send email? Yes, I did. ¿Mandó correos? Sí, lo. Sí. And then you can say also, yes, no respuesta a la era, I sent emails today. Si ven acá, en la respuesta corta, en la respuesta larga, perdón, es una oración afirmativa, right? And then you say, si envié, o yo envié correos hoy. Send, se pone en Okay. Está la respuesta corta y la respuesta larga y pueden usar la que ustedes gusten o la que sea necesaria en su momento, right? Good. Eh, another question. Did you, for example... Did, did, you, uh -huh. did you saw the news eh, about Pueblo Viejo in the morning? Okay. Did you see? Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you see the news about Pueblo Viejo in the morning? Eh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I saw the news about Pueblo Viejo last night. Okay. Okay. Because I was, I was doing something and then I saw in the telephone breaking news. That they were, the Pueblo Viejo was going. Okay. It, 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 was, it was too old. It was too old. What else? Other questions? Anímense, no problem. No did problem. you listen to music today? Did you listen to music today? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And good music. Good music, yes. 80s. <laughs> 80s, 70s. Okay. Super Trump. This guy looks well. Like Very well. 70s, <laughs> 80s, right? 90s. It's still 90s, un poquito, right? But I, I like all kind of music. Yo oigo todo tipo, pero if I prefer 70s, 80s, and 90s, right? What else? Did you clean? Did you wash uh -huh. clothes today? Yes, I did. Ah, how do you know? <laughs> Okay. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. And um, oh yes, I washed. Okay, I washed uh, a shirt. Okay, I washed. Um, uh, let's say uh, my socks. Okay. Para right? What else? Did you cook? Did you cook today? Did you? Cook. 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 Did you cook? Como abrazar? Ah, ah, uh, hug. 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 Uh -huh. uh, did you, did you hug your pet today? Your pet? Si. I don't have a pet now. Uh, I have, no. in the past, I have two dogs. Okay, but se me murieron ya de viejitos and then they were very old. Then um, 
Y ahorita oh. no he conseguido otro. No quiero conseguir un labrador. Then I'm gonna get another one. Oh. Yeah, but uh, I, I love dogs. I love dogs. Pets, my favorite pet, dog. Um, oh. And I had two, <laughs> but now I, I don't. Okay, so they die, they die. Did okay. you receive classes in the morning? Teach or receive? Receive. Uh, no, I didn't. I received classes yesterday was a seminar yesterday afternoon, yes. But today, no. Yes, I did, but yesterday, but today I didn't. Okay, so you see now, these are questions, did you and the bear, right? So this is the structure of the time. Now, now we're gonna see some activities that we can use vocabulary, okay, for activities that we can do in different places. I'm gonna place it from here. Let me share the computer sound. Now we play it. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking, you can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. See a play. Meet old friends. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Go hiking. Activities. Let's listen oh. and practice. Pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? Listen. Practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking you can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished. Okay. Then uh, we have these words. We have go hiking, go swimming. And what about have? Which words from here can we use with have? Meet all Friends. Mm, okay, that way I have meet, meet old friends. That's with uh, meet. And have? Have picture. Uh, no. Picnic. Have a picnic. Have a picnic. Have, have a have, picnic. Have, yeah, a yeah. Class. have a class. Have a. Have a class. Class, class, class. Okay, yes, that could be too. Another one can be, but better, more than, okay, you can say, for example, have a picnic and have fun. 
okay? Because uh, with plus, you can just say it's a plus. Okay. In this case, right? So that means have a plus with plus. But let's see, have fun, have a picnic, uh, meet old friends. Another one that goes with meet? Meet new people. Meet new people. Meet new people, okay, meet old friends, meet new people, play. Play tennis. Play tennis. And you play volleyball. Play volleyball. Play volleyball. See? See a movie. See a movie. See a movie. See a and picture. And see pictures. For example, the, uh, we usually say, let's watch TV, watch a movie. But it's also possible to say, see a movie. Okay? I, I want to see a movie. I want to see that movie. Okay? Not only watch. Okay, so see a movie and see pictures. Okay, then take take a class and take pictures. Take pictures. Ah, okay, that's another one. Take a picture. Take pictures and then and which one is missing? That's it, right? Six. Oh, see a play. See a play. A play. And this one that is here. You can say see a movie or see a play. También se puede usar como ver una película o ver una obra. A play is una obra de arte. See a play. Okay. No, una, una obra teatral. Right? It's play. For example, if you say I saw a play. Yesterday, it means that I went to the theater. I went to the theater. Okay, so these are the expressions. Then we repeat again, have fun. Uh, have fun and have a picnic. Meet new people, meet old friends. Uh, play tennis, play volleyball. Uh, see. Is see a play or see a movie, take pictures and take a class. Okay, so those are the expressions that you can use. And we are talking here, for example, summertime activities, right? Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. Ah, okay, before. After that, I'll... Now, and in past tense, what did the past tense of go? Went. Okay, then you can say, I went hiking or I went swimming. For example, what did you do, uh, let's say, the uh, last vacation? Vacation to this vacation. I went hiking, I went swimming, I had fun with my friends. I had, I had fun with my friends. Um, I had a picnic with my family. I met uh, new interesting people. I met all friends, okay, I met all friends. Uh, I played tennis, I played volleyball. I played uh, video games, I played uh, board games, uh, I saw many movies, okay, I saw a play, I went to the theater and I saw a play, uh, I took uh, English classes, I took French classes, I took uh, cooking classes, okay. And I took pictures. I took many pictures of different places and friends. All right. So you can use this one for the present and also for the past, or if you want to have a vacation in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay. No problem. Okay. I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, 
share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Okay, here there are some weekend stories. And after that, we're going to ask questions about the summer vacations or some vacations that we had in the past. Okay, now listen to this summer, oh, sorry, weekend stories. Things that sometimes happen during the weekend. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article titled, Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Aaron. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. But I learned a lot. After the concert ended, our car broke down. Okay. Okay, se ven bien, ¿verdad? Veanlo and check. Vean si hay vocabulario nuevo, okay? And look, for example, they are using the past tense. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend uh, Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She were she wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. I had a awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents, and they came and got us. Uh, we finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. And then Erin, I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire cooked dinner and told stories. We got up early on, on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay? So you see all the verbs in past tense that you can have for a weekend story, something that you did last weekend or last month, last year for a vacation, okay? It doesn't matter. But questions about vocabulary or expressions? Your turn.
Is all the vocabulary clear? Work. What does mean? Where? Work. In Kelly. In yeah. Kelly. Uh, ah, work. 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 Wore... Uh -huh. Yeah. Is the past tense of wear. Uh, for example, in this moment, I wear a purple shirt. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, the clothes. Okay, the past tense of wear is wore. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna write it here in the chat. Wear. Okay, past tense. Wore. And then you have worn. Where were one? Okay, guys, what else? Toda aquella palabrita que ustedes vean que les impide entender bien. Okay, you can ask. Uh, in Erin. Mm -hmm. In the part of I caught a fish. Mm -hmm. What does mean cow, cut, cut? Cut is the past tense of catch. Okay, and then when you go fishing, then you throw okay, the cane, and then you, when you feel that something, hey, I, I caught something, and then you start, and then you take it out, and you say you caught. Past okay. Tense. Catch a fish. Like, you know, when you catch the marlin. Ah, okay, okay. You catch a big, you got, you catch a big one, okay? Uh, there is an expression in English say that it's after una gran festa, right? It was a big catch. Okay, so una buena festa, it was a big catch. Right? No more? Okay, we're going serve to serve a wonderful meal. A wonderful? Serve a wonderful meal. Meal. Okay, they serve a uh -huh. beer. past tense of servir, right? A wonderful meal is a wonderful food. We have three meals a day breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, three meals, tres comidas, right? So then they serve. A wonderful meal. Okay. okay. Yes. Great. Excellent. Marvelous. Delicious. Okay. Uh, Gabriela, can you please read the story about Kelly? Okay. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend, Helen's wedding. She got married at home. Uh, her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her. And I really like for her husband. Her husband. Okay, good. Hey, thank you. Um, let me see now who has a, yes, here we have. A, Jose, read the one about Robert. I have, I have an um, awful weekend, my friends, and I went to a rock concert. I have a terrible time. Uh, it took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert, ending our car broke down i called my parents and they came and got used we got finally up. got up got, got off mm -hmm. we finally got home at 10 this morning i am so tired so tired okay very good Okay, uh, Johanna, could you please read about Erin? Okay. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. 
my friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campus. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked a dinner, and told stories. <clears throat> we got up early on Sunday and went fin fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I'm really a lot. But I learned a lot. Okay. But I'm learning. Learn. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. So then this is the, the story about these three guys. No more problem with the vocabulary. Okay, one of them uh, went to a wedding. Kelly went to a wedding. Robert went to a concert. And Erin went camping. Okay, that is the, that's the main idea, okay? The main idea is, okay, look, uh, here it says, I caught, I caught uh, a fish. Then, the main idea is what the what the story is about, right? Kelly is talking about a weekend in a wedding. Robert about a concert and the bad experience. Hearing uh, about a trip that she went camping. It's not just not fun. It's not. It's not I mean she doesn't like camping very much, but she learned. Okay. Now, what are details? For example, uh, about Kelly, for example, how was the food? How was the food? Wonderful. Wonderful, that's correct. Those are details, right? Those are details. How was the food? Wonderful. Uh, who, who got married? Who got married? Helen. 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 Uh huh. And who is Helen? Best friend. Okay. Helen. Uh huh. Helen's best friend. Okay. Kelly's best friend. Okay. Ah, Helen. Pardon. Kelly. Uh -huh. Kelly. Helen is Kelly's. Helen is Kelly's best friend. Okay. That is the one who got married. Okay. Um. Is Kelly happy? Yes. Yes. Yes, she is, right? Uh, very happy. Very happy, okay. And does she like Helen's husband? Yes, mm -hmm. I really like. Uh, I say, I really like. Eso si usted la pregunta porque en inglés, aquí se podría malinterpretar esa oración. So she said, I am really happy for her. Y realmente se traduciría aquí, me gusta su esposa. Y se podría pensar, mm, que ella, como que a ella le gusta, right? But in English, eh, cuando tú dices sí es, me agrada. Okay, me cae bien. Okay, which is different. Okay. En inglés es frecuente que alguien diga, un hombre le diga a otro hombre, hey, hey John, I like you. Okay, John, me cae bien. Okay, Tony, I like it. Okay, I didn't. Oh, that's it, I didn't. Uh, I, you know, I like, uh, I like Tony. He's a nice guy. Okay, right? But that is, but it's different. Okay, el contexto, right? Pero ya en una conversación con Kelly, por ejemplo, yo, uh, alguien me puede decir, hey, you know, Kelly, uh, we have been friends for many years, and I want to tell you that, you know, I really like you. Okay, ahí ya va en otro tono, right? Realmente me gusta. Okay, so it depends on that. So be careful with that. And para no malinterpretarlo. Y si lo usan, si usted me dejó en que un uh, gringo le dice a otro, okay, hey, you know what? I like you, man. So it means, me cae bien. So you're, you're nice. Okay? Then, and the other one is Robert. Some, uh, what happened to Robert? 
What was the problem with Robert? Her car, it's broke. Okay, his car broke. His car, okay. sorry. His car broke, yes, okay. And who helped him? Who helped him? Um, your parents. His, his parents? His, his parents? His parents. His parents help you. Help us. Help, help him. Her. Him. him. Yes, his parents helped him. Okay, what time did he get back home? Ten a.m. Ten a.m. Right. Now, is he tired? Yes, he's yes. tired. Yes, he's tired. Right. Okay, good. And then, in the last one, says, uh, "Was Erin's weekend interesting?" Was Erin's weekend interesting? Yes. Did she have a Did she have a good uh, weekend? Yes, she yeah. had an interesting weekend. That's correct, right? And then you say, for example, the what is the first Thing, what is the first thing that she did uh, in the campsite? She built a fire. Before that, no, the first, that was after, then. But before that, the first thing. She drove to the campsite, campsite? Uh -huh. And when they got to the campsite, what was the first thing that they did? Put up the tent. Put up the tent. Okay. Okay. Uh, armar la tienda, right? What's the first thing? Then to build the fire. They encendieron el fuego, cook dinner, and told stories. Okay. Those are, that's the sequence of events. Okay. What did they do? What are the activities that they do? That they, uh, what are the activities that they did? What did they do? How went fishing? How went fishing? Built a fire, cooked, told stories, went fishing, caught a fish. Okay. So okay. then you can see, for example, those are the details. Then you can identify extra information, specific information. Esos son los detalles cuando leemos. And the main idea, de qué se trata every reading. Okay, people, questions? Fish. I... Okay, here we go. And I guess. That's the end. Okay, the next topic is in the unit or less than section five. Eh, para los que no se habían conectado al inicio, nos apareció aquí un mensaje en la plataforma de que la, el curso dice ahí que termina el próximo 24 que es miércoles, pero realmente termina los jueves, pero al 24 tiene que estar ya contestado el examen eh, final, eh, exit test, el final exam. Entonces, este, ya nos, lo vamos a, ¿cómo que se llama? A ver, durante la semana, pero las clases sí vamos a tener clases jueves, ¿ok? La otra semana es lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves. Igual ahora, lunes, martes, miércoles. Las 16 clases se van a cumplir. Lo único que ya medio ustedes han contestado, igual que el midterm, el siguiente día volvemos y estudiamos lo que haga falta, revisamos, revisamos el examen final, eh, preguntas, lo que sea, y hacemos así. ¿okay? Las clases siempre se van a It's only that we have to complete, you have to complete the course before. 
Okay. Um, George, could you please read the, the objective here? Okay. By the end of this class, you will be able to form positive and negative statement. With the pass of B, additional, you will practice a conversation which illustrate this topic used in a real life setting. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna have the present, the simple past, the regular verb. We have the simple past, regular verb, affirmative, negative, and question. Y ahora vamos a ver lo que es el verbo to be en pasado, right? In present, we say am, um, is, and are, correct? Mm -hmm. And in past, was and where. Okay, we say was and where. Was and where. Mm -hmm. Pre present. Present. We have I am. Then we have you, you, uh, what else? You are. We, uh-huh, yes, they, uh, they are. Okay, para los tres, right? Then we have he, what else? She. He, he. she, it. Okay, perfect. It, and then we say is. Okay, but in the past, we change to say uh, I, he, she, it, and we use was. Okay. I, he, she, okay. it. Ahí es como que el am, el am desaparece y el I se une con he, she, it. Oh. Y el R también. El U, ok, el U continúa para los otros como you, you, we, they. Y aquí usamos where. Entonces, de las tres formas las convertimos en dos. Oh, ok. okay. Good. Entonces, okay. yo digo, I was here. Yo estuve aquí. Y, es, y lo que a veces confunde con el otro día, acuérdense que es que tiene dos formas ser o estar. Por ejemplo, um, I was uh, I was a good soccer player. Yo era un buen jugador de fútbol. Eh, I was tired. Yo estaba cansado. Ok, tiene los dos sentidos, right? Ser o estar. Ok. No problem? Ok. Ok, good. Just remember, okay, I was, he was, she was, it was. You were, we were, they were. Recuerdense que el you aparece dos veces porque un you es singular. Tú. Ajá. Y tú y usted. Ustedes. Ajá, está el plural. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, okay, you were very good students tonight. Y en general, ustedes. You were very good students tonight. Y sería con, eh, plural, y si le dice a alguien, say, hey, you are, or you, you were a nice person. Tú fuiste una persona muy agradable. You were. Okay? So then, this is the context, también. Good. Okay. No problem? So far, so good. Okay, esto sí, ya ven a ver que mañana se lo practiquemos con un juego y se van a sentir más sueltos para hacer preguntas en pasado, right? For example, um, yes, in uh, when we use the verb to be, I think we have, okay, good. I'm seeing how long will it take. Hi, everyone. In okay, yes, this is, 
the, the, I just want to show you before tomorrow we're going to watch it all. Uh, okay, here. Yeah. Okay, so this one we have the, the statements with the past tense of it. I was born in Korea. Esto lo que uh, el, el verbo tuvimos muchas veces que interpretarlo, pero es que eso lo quiero mostrar ahorita. Dice, I was born in Korea, allá no es estuve, ni fui. Sino que eso se interpreta en español como nací en Corea. Pero siempre se usa I was born. Okay, I was born in San Salvador. I was born in Tarapunango. I was born in Guatemala. I was born in the United States. Okay, ahí no se, va a tra se, tra no se traduce como yo fui nacido en o yo era nacido en. Nací. Okay, always. And then you have you were pretty young. Okay, you were pretty young. Tú eras muy joven. Okay, she was 17. Ella tenía 17. Vean las interpretaciones, right? To Spanish. We were born in the same year. Okay. And they were in Korea in 1998. Ese es diferente. Ellos estuvieron en Korea in 1998. I was in the United States in 2017. I was in England in 2004, right? Then you have the affirmative and then you have the negative. I was, I wasn't. You were, you weren't. She was, she wasn't. We were, we weren't. They were, they weren't. That's the contraction. Okay, big guys, nice people in the world. That's all the time that we have for today. Okay, uh, I will see you tomorrow at the same time. Dream in English and practice. Okay, practice with the past tense of this. Okay. 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 Teacher. Thank you. Good night, Bye. Teacher. Bye. Good night. Teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.